This video is a follow-up to my original video on understanding your triggers. Um, I like to call this the Water Boy or the Bobby Boucher. If you're unfamiliar with that movie, in that movie, uh, the Water Boy Bobby, he was a pacifist. You know, he was naturally a soft person. So, in order to become a great football player, he had to use his triggers and the things that upset him that he wasn't dealing with. He transmuted that energy onto the football field. So every so every time he needed to tackle somebody, he would pretend it, it was his mom triggering him, or he would pretend it was his third grade bully, or he would pretend you know whatever, etc. I'll put up a clip or something. Three ninety. Check. Check. Red eighteen. Red eighteen. Needle dick. Needle dick. Needle dick. <laughs> And what I sat and thought about was, how often do we do the same thing unknowingly? You know, when you're at work and you're ready to blow up on a coworker, and or a coworker is ready to blow up on you, are they really angry at you, or are they just using your face to to or your body? Are you just the avatar, and they're picturing the thing that triggers them? When you say something, when you do something, is that happening to you, and vice versa? You know what I'm saying? Where where you're just having a good day, everything is going well, and then all of a sudden, you know, now you're angry. All of a sudden, you know, something has thrown you off. Your, your, your mood has changed. It's like, where is that coming from? You know? And I think a lot of times when people are angry, especially angry with each other, a lot of that stems from things from childhood or, or things that, you know, we, or we don't, you don't, you, you haven't even begun to understand where it stems from. And that's why it's important to to do the work because you'll you'll oftentimes you know I, I still see people now you know not to judge them but like I actually feel sorry for them I still see people now at our age still linking up to fight and stuff like they used to when we were like fourteen fifteen and you really have to sit and wonder like damn what could they be going through you know or are they really that angry at that person where they gotta leave the bed that they now probably have to pay for at the age that we are. And to get up and go go drive across town to fight somebody like like we did in high school, you know, and even when we were doing that in high school, are you really that angry at the other person? You know, when you really think about some of the things that we were fighting over, you know, he said, she said and all of that. Or are you using someone's face? You know, are they just the avatar that's bringing up your triggers? You know, did they say something to you? You know, a lot of times why people can't let things go is because. It, it, it could be triggering to them. It's like you know, you 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 might someone might say something to you that you heard from a from a parent or a guardian, and you can't smack them. So when you hear it from a coworker, you're like, I'm gonna smack the shit out of that person. You know what I'm saying? And, and really, all you're trying to do is get back at that, let's say, parent or guardian who 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 is the person who caused the original trigger. You know, and that's just a hypothetical situation. You know, a lot of people. I feel as though a lot of us going through the Bobby. Boucher syndrome, where we're mad at our partner, mad at our coworker, sometimes even just mad at the world, especially after s certain things happen. You know, somebody might say something to you and you're ready to punch them in the face, not realizing that you're not even really that angry at them or what they said, whether it be innocent or whether they be saying it in a harmful way. A lot of times they might just be the avatar that you are using to get back at the person who caused you original harm in the first place. You know what I'm saying? You may not be able to smack the shit out of the person who who caused who caused you to be triggered by certain words. So now when your coworker says something, I was like, oh no, now I finally get my opportunity. You know, and this is why it's important for us to address the things that we have going on. Because they're gonna show their its face regardless. You can't avoid it, you can't get away from it. The only difference is when you aren't aware of it, it has power over you. So now you can't stay in control of yourself. You know, now you might put your life in danger. You might put yourself in harm. You might do something that gets you arrested or something just because you couldn't compose yourself. You let somebody get the best of you. This is another way that people steal your energy. Sometimes beating somebody up is not even worth it because they, some people thrive off of that. They live off of that. You know, an energy stealer, a vampire, that, you know, it's not the suck of your blood like you see on TV and stuff like that. That's TV. You know, people thrive off of going back and forth with you. They thrive off of you giving them that attention. They live off of it. Even when you're beating them up, it doesn't matter. You know, and a lot of these things can be can be avoided when we know what to look for. When we know if we may not be ready to fight that battle. You know, in that room over there, they play a music that triggers me. You know, you might have grown up being called certain names or something. And the songs, 
is going to remind you of that, you know, so maybe you don't walk into that room, maybe you don't go to that party right now, but at least you're aware of it. So when you're in the room, you're not being triggered, you know, and once you start to be aware of it, you can start to take the proper steps to, to heal from it. You know, it, it starts off with acknowledgement. It starts off with trying to figure out where it came from. You know, for example, like uh, I think I, I used it in my original video uh, for a long time being asked, like, you know, someone asked me, where'd you get that shirt from? It used to be triggering to me. It used to be like, grab your weapon. It used to be like, put a, put a fist up because those words, when I was growing up, usually meant somebody was trying to rob you or somebody was trying to do harm to you. But it's through that realization that you, you know, you start, hey, if I never had that realization, I'd be going around, you know, wearing things or dressing as someone and thinking every single person in the world is trying to rob me when that's not the case. You know, that was then, you know, where I live now or, you know, your coworker, like realistically is like, is that really trying to happen? But those could be games and stuff that's in your mind until you deal with them. They're just going to be sitting right there. And now that I have that realization, first, it took a while. Don't don't think it happened overnight. It took a while. But one, now that I have that realization, you know, someone can compliment me on my clothes and it, it may not be, you know, oh, yeah, thanks, man. You know, I bought it at the, it may not always be the excitement level or matching the energy that they gave to me, but I'm no longer reaching for a weapon. I'm no longer getting in defense mode. I'm no longer preparing to fight because I've done the work. You know, I, I, I took the time to do that. And, and there's, there's other things that still has to be done for, but I just, I'm just using myself as an example. You know, we walk around with these things all the time and we don't realize it and, and, and they have power over us. So, you know, just something to think about, you know, you don't want to be doing the Bobby Boucher. You don't want to be yelling at or, or blowing up on your coworker. And it's because they said something to you that reminds you of the original person that triggered you or something, you know. Not to say you don't want to defend yourself or something like that. We're talking about in the extreme case. We're talking about, you know, you don't even know why you're angry right now. We're talking about you smack somebody you like, damn, I, I don't even know how it got there type of thing. We're talking about in the extreme case. We're not talking about just standing up for yourself normally. So, you know, one of the benefits, and, that, and that's the other thing, you know, the, doing the work is beneficial because you come out of it changed. You come out of it for the better. You know, it's. It, it, it's, it's, it's like a door that, that has that's on fire. And it's like you got to walk through that fire and it's going to burn. But after that, you're going to heal up. And that's just the motivation. That's how you got to look at it. Because otherwise, the fire is going to be burning you. And it's just like you pretending like it's not happening. You know, so it's either you just going to walk through the fire, get your burns and then start to heal up. Or you're just going to be getting burned little by little, you know, until you're ready to walk through the fire. And you don't have to run. You Some people run through it. Some people tiptoe, you know, go at your own pace, you know, just be willing to walk through the door.